And they're moving towards an agreement that that's well, what the happens. Same reason Everybody the gets. K, it's the same reason the KKK supported Liberia. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a uh, yeah, it's a future of these these uh, ethnic Bantu stands armed to the teeth and surrounded with balls. Uh, and I like here at the end of this paragraph, it says he received 38 percent of all anti-Semitic tweets aimed at journalists in 2016. This is a statistic from the ADL, which is like <laughs> that, 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 that's that was me yeah. looking at him over and over again. I'm going to fold you in half and shove you in a big gulp cup. See, I, first, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I would really like to see an audit of how many of these abusive tweets were genuinely anti-Semitic, or half of them were like being like, "I'm going to trap you in a dollhouse and have my cat eat you." <laughs> Half of them were Felix, though. Yeah, uh, exactly. Excuse me, but cats, those were the Nazis in Ot Spiegelman's mouse. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I just love that the, the ADO or someone out there is just keeping actual statistics on how badly he gets owned and dunked on on Twitter all the time. So, going on now, I know this is really great. Uh, th- there's a real battle for hearts and minds going on the right right now, and Ben is one of the main warriors. Said David French, <laughs> columnist for the National Review. Warrior, pugilistic. Woo! We, dude, this, this article is bringing back so many of our favorites. Oh God, David French, and, and you know you, can, you all can, the cucks are coming out to defend my, Ben and call him a take, warrior. You can take my word for it that he's a warrior. I understand war. I went to Iraq. And I, I was in charge of ordering uh, Jimmy John's for the office. At the Chad Corps in the Green Zone. I know what war is. Mr. French calls Mr. Shapiro a principled gladiator. They keep using this language. It's insane. <laughs> this is like, again, warrior, I just gladiator, him, pugilist. I'm just imagining Ben Shapiro with a fucking trident and a net fighting in the Coliseum. <laughs> But and it's tickling. Like I said, glad all the all the, all the language and, and uh, you know jobs of, of combat and war. This all are, are you not entertained? This is <laughs> this is all due to the fact that Ben Shapiro goes to college campuses and triggers snowflakes yep. by being like, there are two genders, sorry. <laughs> but they don't, that, I mean, that, he that's, doesn't that's even get battle. the backlash. The, the, no, uh, that's the, just it. Nobody yeah. cares. Nobody gives yeah. a shit. It's like, remember when Charles Kirk tweeted, I'm going on a tour of college campuses. Better get ready, Antifa. People are like, who are and you? Nobody cares about you, Charles. Wherever you go, your fucking acolytes decide to put diapers on. It's one of the most entertaining things in the world and you don't need Antifa for it to happen. So, uh, going on here, it says, uh, his aggressive tone draws an audience. Aggressive tone. No, it's a high-pitched tone. It's not aggressive. It is the... Uh, I mean, only dogs the way, like- the aggression in it. <laughs> it's the whining keen of someone trying to return something to Best Buy. <laughs> I was told that I had 90 days, as you see on the receipt. It's only been 87. So he goes... Uh, Finger manager. He does not attack unfairly or stoke anger for the sake of it or mischaracterize his opponent's positions. He even hits his own side, as he did with Sean Hannity for not weighing in on Roy Moore, the embattled Alabama Republican, and Mr. Bannon for supporting him. He appeals to the better angels of his audience's nature while still being a pugilist, and that's quite a <laughs> skill. <laughs> Somebody French went to said. thesaurus.com and just quit trying. All right, uh. now it gets into like, the, okay, this is great. Mr. Shapiro grew up in Los Angeles in a Jewish family of Reagan Republicans. His parents both worked in Hollywood, his mother as an executive of a TV company, and his father as a composer. They lived in a small house, his parents in one bedroom, and he and his three sisters in the other. They had political discussions at the dinner table. He was patriotic. He dressed up as John Adams every year for Halloween from the (laughs) age of five. God! He had a favorite musical, 1776. Of course, you fancy little man. He, so this is a child who dressed up as John Adams every year. Oh, God. I think mean, like it says amazing. from the age of five. It doesn't tell you what age yeah, he stopped doing say. that. I don't think he ever did. It's no. no. Like, basically his personality. He's Jewish Martin Prince. It's- <laughs> <laughs> Eight wax with a wet noodle, Liptard. <laughs> <laughs> they stole my dicky. <laughs> I want to see Ben Shapiro wearing a t-shirt that says Wang Computers. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, my geode must be acknowledged. So it goes here. Uh, uh, <laughs> so often I felt turning on Fox, it makes you dumber. 
but you listen to Ben Shapiro, and you're likely to be both entertained and enlightened," said Charlie Sykes, a conservative oh, that pundit. Fucking asshole! I don't know who that is. Oh, he's a he's a he's a Milwaukee local drive time conservative fucking radio shithead, and he's a reliable voice of reaction and suburban racism for generation in the in the Milwaukee County area. But then Trump came along, and he wasn't going to get Oh, this get is the guy board. that's been profiled recently yep. as just being like, oh, wait a second. I think, you know, my, I'm, I'm shocked that all of the listeners whose base prejudices I've been stoking yeah. on the radio in their car for the last 30 yes. years yep. have uh, weird racist feelings yep. and, heart, and actually admire and love Donald Trump. Yeah, the enti- my entire job for 30 years was channeling the argument that you shouldn't let the inner city buses go out to Waukesha County. That's the sum total of the fucking ideology on display for 30 years. And now Trump has gone too far. Well, but he retired from his show. He doesn't have a radio show anymore. Now he wrote a book and he's now a touring. Right. He's a gladiator yeah. in his own right. Well, no, you know? he's described here as a conservative pundit and Trump critic. Yeah. And he goes on to describe Ben as he's high octane. <laughs> He re- <laughs> He's high octane. He reads books. His mind works <laughs> really <is> fast. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to get under people's skin. He's clearly part of this younger generation. <laughs> I could imagine Bill Buckley looking down and smiling. Jesus no, I can imagine Christ. Bill Buckley looking Auto down Jewish. on him for that being a Jewish true. upstart, but yeah. he would be smiling, but it would be the smile of the sort of rigor mortis that was permanently affixed on his disgusting Gila monster like uh, <laughs> visage. Visage, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, so cute. A Hebrew. I, I love you. Like I said, uh, Charlie Sykes is like what he's so. He's so impressed. He thinks Ben is such a breath of fresh air and just, you know, just a real whip smart because he reads books from uh, white nationalism is absurd. Yeah, there are only the barest differences between him and Trump on any st- uh, sub- substantive issue, so that the difference is totally just egos, basically. And the rest of this paragraph goes on to talk about how you know he's an Orthodox Jew and was one of the first to call out the alt-right movement and denouncing it as racist. I mean, ra- how is he denouncing it as racist? They believe the same, same things about black people and immigrants as yep. he does. It's, it's just basically what, there's, what they're working towards, either consciously or subconsciously, the Trump people and the anti-Trump conservatives are moving towards a, essentially that agreement that is that I think uh, Ellie Valley did the drawing of of uh, Adelson shaking hands with Pepe. It's basically transformation, uh, 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 a population transfer, where all the good Jews. Scarlet Christian 